Hello everyone and welcome back to part 14 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get To Work. So this little sad face here is a little lazy going into, pro uh, going into pregnant, going into labour for the third time and final time. Um, so we are going to go and have the baby at the hospital again because of course super cute, have baby at the hospital and we are going to join her and hopefully Greg will come. Where's Greg? Gregory, there he is. Just going to have the, just going to have the baby. I'm gonna make her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her happy before this because I don't really want her like, you know. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make him happy too because I don't want him falling asleep. Aw, he wanted to give her a hug. I don't know where she's going. Lacey, where are you going? Oh, she's going to the theatre room. Oh, this looks cool with the walls down. She's walking down the ward to have her third and final child. I have to get a picture of this. And the door's open. She's going in to see her fate. <laughs> so cool. Oh, she's going to take the trash out. Um, no, I think you're going to have a child, Lacey. You're not putting the child in the bin bag and putting the child in the bin. She just dumped it on the floor. Oh, girl. I don't know what you're doing. We can't even, like, check in because no one's here. Well, we can go and talk to Greg, or wherever Greg's gone. Greg, where are you? He sat down watching cooking shows for ideas. Oh, Greg. Why don't you come and give her, like, a hug? Oh no, is she going to have it now? No, she's going to wash her hands. <laughs> um, have baby at hospital. Join. Do I have to do this all again? Like, we're here. Have the freaking baby. Come and talk to her. Ah, she's got the gown on. The gown has gone on. Ah, this is cute. These two are so cute. I love it. In Jafibna. He's like, good luck, baby, good luck. And now they're having a good old chat. <laughs> She's very, very uncomfortable in labour. She's also feeling romantic. This is not the time nor the place. <laughs> okay, it's time to have baby now. Why is this going on for so long? Thank you. Like, okay, we're going. We're going into the other. We're going into the other room, away from Greg. Apparently, Greg's annoying the doctor. Oh, it's gonna happen! Right, let's watch. Let's sit and watch while I take lots of screenshots. She's not even behind the little thing, controlling it. Do you want to do your job? That was- Ah! I'm so confused right now! <laughs> There's Greg. Is she going to get- Where's the- There she is. I love how her ponytail is just going through the bed. Greg, you're in the way! Oh, they're not, they're not delivering the baby. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on right now. I'm really not. She's going to get back in it again. How many are in? Oh my God. Imagine if there's more than one. Imagine if there's more than one. Maybe that's why they keep doing it. Greg's just washing his hands. What the hell? <laughs> the baby's coming. Oh, has it already come? She's not even, like, moving the little things. This is such a fail. Having baby delivered. Oh my god, that's so cool. Right, the baby's nearly here. It's a girl! Right, now we need to find a name. Alexandra? No. Kristen? No. Jasmine? No. I like the name Summer. We'll go for Summer Mansfield. Sounds like a place. 
<laughs> We've got the birth certificate. There's only one baby. Thank God for that. And now we are going. Actually, no. We have to get. No, you're not going. Stop being a bloody fool, will you? You're gonna give him a cuddle. You're gonna give him a cuddle. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Her last baby. There will be no more. There will be no more. Oh god, I honestly thought we were getting like triplets or something there. The amount of time she went in and out of that machine thing. But let's go home. She's exhausted. We'll waddle our way right, back well, home. For some reason, she's still wearing this, <laughs> this gown. So I'm going to get her to get changed. But where's the baby then? Normally it gets put upstairs. But it's not there. She's been put in Winston's room. Ah, well, this is this is her bedroom, but I'm gonna have her put be put in the in in mummy and daddy's room for safekeeping. For some reason, she has a blue bassinet. I'm not entirely sure why, but we're gonna go and why is she feeling flirty? Cuddle her and change her diaper and show her off to. Greg, even though it's their child, I don't know. So yeah, the influencing pregnancy thing totally works, which is good. Um, I don't know who you are. I think you're someone's friend, probably Jem's friend. But why are you still here? I guess it's good for her to have friends. They seem quite good friends as well, by the judging by the green bar. He's stretching for some reason. Little baby. Um, we're also going to breastfeed her. What are you doing? In your sister's bedroom? Should we get you a TV? Get you a TV. I wonder when Jem has work. Like, it's been three days, surely. I'll get you a big TV. Why don't we get you this one? We'll need this. There you go. You got, you got yourself a little TV. Maybe a little sofa. Mm, a little sofa. You don't have one in the colour I'd like, so. Even though orange would be so cool. Um. I guess we don't need this anymore, even though that's quite cool. We don't need it. Right, come and watch your own. Okay, I've put that TV too high up. I don't like it. Actually, no. No. Right, come and watch your own TV. Please, I beg of you. You've got a sofa and you've got a TV in your swanky new bedroom. Please use it. You haven't said hello to the baby yet, so why don't you go and do that? Oh no, she's sleeping, so we won't disturb her. He's coming to talk to his dad. Uh, hip bump. Ask about woohoo to his dad. <laughs> Why don't they take a picture together? <laughs> that was an awkward, similar conversation. Selfie. He, he looks so much like Greg. Oh my god. Look at the nose and the lips and the eyes and the hair. Oh my god. As um, give pep talk. Okay, Greg's leaving. Greg's leaving. I kind of really want to be able to do this. So, would would she be able to use this? Analyze. <gasps> Oh my god! Right, analyse the tomato. Scientist Lacey. Scientist Retail Lacey. This is so cool. She's putting a little potato, not a potato, tomato, 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 um, in the, in the machine. What's gonna happen? She's putting it in the sparkly thing.
What what's gonna happen to it then? Does she what 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 happens? She acquires the logic skill. Is that it? Nothing about this about this plant. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> it was cool that she can use it because she's got really high gardening skill. Um, should we design Summer a little room? I think we should. I think we should design Summer's little bedroom. Uh, righty oh. Make it girly. Hmm. Make it cute and girly. Got this little purple lamp that's really cute, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling that. Um. Maybe a cute little wall lamp. Yeah, something like that. It's cute. And um, there was a lamp on that wall. Y'all need to leave. Right now. Uh, right. Got plenty of lamps in there now. Probably too many, but oh well. Um, Make her a little bed. Make her a little bed. I mean, like, get her a bed. Oh, this is cute. Um, is there not a nicer bed? Even though that one's quite cute, but I do want her to have a nicer one. Hmm. Maybe a pink one. Brown one. Um, there's a table. Some cute pink. Little purple, but it will do. I'm not sure you even have one down. Um, no. For that too industrial, you know the big pink block. No, it's too big. Too big. Um, there's not many girly really desert tables. That will go ahead and we'll just go with this. And that's not dark wood, so okay. We'll just go with my original choice. It's only going to go by the side of the bed. You don't need anything too fancy. Um, right, some little children's cluster, I guess. Um, maybe, I don't know. Actually, no, I'll put it on there. And then she can have some books on there. And something like that on the wall. And maybe a little pink one is that. Um, a little pink bag. Okay. And then she'll reach. Well, she'll have a bag when she's first to Um, right, maybe a little lamp on the side of her bed. Maybe, maybe a little panda. The shade in it, I don't have one of those, like, pink triangles. Pink on plumbs, I mean. I'll put a little alien by the side of that. Um, hmm. Some little bunnies across the walls. Oh, it's so cute. Some little bunnies jumping. Around the room, right now, actually, wallpaper. Some snazzy wallpaper would help. Some key wallpaper. Maybe this. That's adorable. But you can't see the bunnies now, because they're, like... I'm sure you can. You can see them. I think that, I think that definitely looks better. The contrast is nicer. I'm going to keep this all the same. Maybe a little rug. Cute little rug, maybe. Right here. Um, and maybe a little mirror. Start this end. Well, no, no, I can't know. Um, cute little wall mirror. That's a nice color. Um, we'll put the mirror there. No, we won't. We'll put the mirror here. That's cute, not lazy, we're walking on it. Um, yeah, I guess just a few toys. To play with. Of course, we have to get her a big teddy. I mean, I'm going to get her with the dinosaur. I could just get her to the Actually, no, we'll get her a bunny. We'll have a bunny in the corner of the room. Actually, no, we'll have a bunny in the bed. And then we'll have a big castle. There we go. She has plenty to do down here when she when she ages up. No idea when I'm gonna do that, but she will eventually. So let's have a look at what everyone's doing. The game's being laggy again. She's constantly in that dressing gown. When do you have work? In two days. Two days. It's a very long time away. Clean it up, please. Some mess in here. Is she still sleeping? No, she's awake. Greg, come and say hello. Come and make a silly face at her and bottle feed her. <laughs> Cute. She's watching some telly. I think this needs to go off. Definitely. Because it's annoying. Why don't we come and check on the garden? Is like everything in the garden good? Everything in the garden is doing good. Um, yep. Right. I think we might head to the bakery with Greg today. Um, for a bit. <laughs> right, so I have, uh, I've opened the store and everyone's just, um, um, buying a few things. Uh, we made some 
we made some carrot cake and some carrot cake cupcakes and we made some shrimps and everything's really disgusting um we made this like little birthday wedding cake thing and um some jelly donuts but we're gonna switch control to jen mansfield because she is about to have her first day at work um she starts in an hour so it's also summer's birthday which i'm not really bothered about because she i'm not gonna like get candles or anything because she's only gonna be like a child so and i don't think she gets a bad mood or anything because she's a child um but yeah i'm excited to join gem on her first day at work so we are back at the Mansfield household and Gem is starting work in 36 minutes. Um, I am going to have her come and age up Summer before she goes to work. Just so that is done. I'm loving the outfit girl. I'm loving it. Um, what are you doing? She's just chilling with Winston up here. But we're going to head upstairs and uh, age up the baby. She needs to hurry up because there's only 13 minutes to work. Summer has become a child. She's Whoopee. Um, it's time to do some cars. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god. Why don't I have the... Right. Okay, we will just do this later because for some reason it's not letting me modify her now oh we have to get to pick her traits first so i think i'm gonna make her a social butterfly and and an art lover so there we go so we should be able to modify her in cas now we're gonna jump into cows, give her a bit of a cute little makeover. I'm not gonna change her face anything or anything as per usual because I wanna see who she looks like. That is not who we're making over. The girls seem to look like oh no, no, she's got the Greg nose. She's got the Greg nose. And maybe Lacey's eyes. I'm not sure. But she's got brown hair. We didn't make any gingers. I might make her ginger. This is Summer Mansfield. Now, she's definitely got Daddy's nose, but I went with Lacey's hair. She's got the full fringe and everything, so she looks like Mama. Um, this is her first outfit. Some cute little dungarees. Um, this little dress. This little dress. This cute little rabbit. Um, not rabbit. Cat top. 
and this jumper cute bunny dress thing that I just have to put on all my sims um, next is this dress for her formal wear um, these cute little leggings and these boots this is her sleepwear her party wear and her swimwear so that is summer's outfits so outfit's done, we're just waiting for Jem to head off to work, which should be now. And we are going to join her. Duty calls, the world is a never-ending cesspool of grime and crime, and now it's time for Jem to take a big bite out of it. Sounds gross. Care to join them, or should they go alone? We're going to join her, of course, on her first day of work. Welcome to the force. It's the it's time to start fighting crime. First things first, use a computer to get a case assignment. Off we go to the computers. Surprisingly, there's not anyone on them. We're going to get a case assignment. I'm in a little perky walk while walking over. Go and get a case assignment. I just want to get a cheeky screenshot. First day at work and all. Let's fast forward because it's taken a bit of a long time. Right, assist with crime assist with a crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime act to travel to the crime scene travel to crime scene off we go more freaking loading screens it's just such a pain in the ass please hurry up please it's doing that thing where it stops so i'm hoping that means it's nearly over nope it's carrying on taking its sweet time <sighs> At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect, investigate damaged or stolen objects, and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also, talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. So, we've got these marks on the ground, so we're going to go and search for clues. It seems like there was a fire or something, to be honest. Ooh, there's plenty of clues around here. We're going to collect an ev evidence sample and then we are going to take a picture. And we're going to do the same with all the others. Um, and we're going to go and search for clues in here. Oh, look, it's our little friend. Does she live here? I swear she doesn't live here. She's, oh no, someone's heartbroken about something. We're going to search for clues in here. And we've got one. We're going to collect an evidence sample. I think that's the only clue. Um, we're going to go and get our witness reports from these two ladies. And from this lady too. She didn't provide much she provided some valuable information apparently so we're going to go and search for some more clues in here we're going to stop talking it doesn't seem like there's anything in here um search in here oh there's something collect the sample um is that is that everything the house doesn't seem to be very big. I think we've been in every room, apart from the bathroom, actually. So let's go and search for clues in the bathroom. And there doesn't seem to be anything in there. So what are we taking? Oh, this is this is substantial. The fridge is on fire. All right. Did we did we do the fridge? We did indeed. So now we can return to the police station. How do we do that? Oh. Return to police station. 
So we've got everything that we needed to collect, so we have to go and put the puzzle pieces together now, back at the police station. So we are back at the police station and um, the little thing. Now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down the suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about who committed the crime. So this is the chemical analyzer and we need to analyze the evidence. Let's go and do that. Hopefully we will be successful. Please, 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 please. Don't want to do it again. Are we successful? Yes. Nice work. Analyzing evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use a computer to file the crime scene evidence so that the senior detective can take over. So, we need to go and kick someone off the computer to file the crime scene evidence. Okay, time to get off. Thank you. And there we go. I think we might stay late today. Good work. The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge of this case. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow, you'll learn about the next steps in the case. For now, take some time to help process criminals at the ha here at the station. What the hell does that mean? A. Hey. So, so what are we doing to the criminals? <laughs> oh, we get to use this. We get to take a mugshot. We'll take a mugshot of Rain Irisery. I don't know what the hell that said. <laughs> Follow her, we're gonna go and take a mugshot of her. It's taking forever to get her out. Do you wanna go and do what I asked you to do instead of just standing around? Thank you. <laughs> Look at her face. I love it. I love it, Sims 4. I love it. Too good. <laughs> Alright, we also need to... Oh, it says we need to take two. Well, we can take... We can search her while she stood there. But she seems to just take forever to do everything, so... I think that's just the glitch what needs fetch it fixing. And we also need to take her fingerprint. Scanning her little hand. And there we go. And we need to go and do it all again. Um, to another sim. So we will do Clive Ela or Ella this time. Winston is done with school. It's the redhead's turn this time. Sorry, I just smacked a packet on my desk. <laughs> the work day is nearly done. But hopefully we'll get this finished beforehand. Um, search for criminals at the booking station. Oh, search criminals. Oh, okay. Search suspect. Come on. There we go. Done. It says take a... Talk to the chief. The chief's normally in here. I don't know if this is the chief. Discuss case theories? I don't know. I assume it's the chief because she's wearing a red hat sort of thing. <laughs> not red. She's wearing a white hat and everyone else is wearing... She's not getting on with her chief. It's not good. For some reason we can't talk to her. Um, We need to exercise for an hour but do I really want to do that? I guess we should. We're at work after all. We won't be doing it for very long because time's nearly up. 
Running, running, running. Actually, we could just finish early. We completed everything and we did an excellent job, a fantastic job. And you may there may be a shinier badge and a new title in her future. Basically that means we're getting a promotion next time. <laughs> 234 simoleons that we earned today. So guys, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. It has been a pretty, pretty long one. Um, lots happened. We aged up Jam, even though her birthday was the day after she was born. Um she was born of course in the hospital with Lacey um and we went to see Greg for like two seconds and then we went to work with Jam which was super fun in her first day as a detective I'm so excited to see where the detective career takes us I really hope you enjoyed this part even though all you're looking at right now is a loading screen because it's taken so damn long um and I will see you next time bye guys